So this is my purple sea urchin grow out tank. Purple sea urchins in California came up the coast to Northern California and ate all the kelp. There's millions of purple sea urchins laying on the bottom and they ate all the kelp, the kelp's gone. And so they're just laying there dormant and they need to be fed in order to be marketable. So the sea, uh, the sea urchin divers will go out and pull, pick up the urchins, bring them in, and we'll put them in these cages, which there'll be 12 cages in the tote. A little center divider wall so they don't slide when you pick up the cage. So this is a gravity fed system. It's ran all off of air. There's no solid pumps in the system. Everything's ran off of air, which is way cheaper. Anyway, water comes out the bottom, runs across, comes to this strainer, which is gonna catch the larger pieces of spent uh, feed. Then it moves on, comes up underneath this barrel, comes up under the bottom, runs to this barrel, and the, and the water runs up through that pipe, comes out the top. And then this pipe fits down over the top of that one and forces the water to the bottom. Now the water's at the bottom and it's gotta come up through this bag. And this bag will have bacteria in it. And there's these little wheels that are inside that bag and the bacteria will grow on those wheels. They're just little plastic wheels. They're basically made out of old milk cartons is what it looks like. So it's the same plastic, real thin. So that's the first stage. Filtration, biofiltration. Then it moves on. It runs over to the main biofilter. This tub will have uh, an eight inch air stone on the bottom and it'll be at least halfway full of K2 or K3 biomedia, which is just these little plastic wheels, little tiny, about the size of a quarter and about a half inch thick. And they've got a bunch of little grooves in them. And so the bacteria sticks to them and uh, grows on them. And so this will be uh, autotrophic bacteria that's growing in this tank. And what it does is it takes the ammonia, which is urea or urine that's coming from the sea urchins, and it will convert that ammonia into nitrites and then in that same process the nitrites become nitrates so now you have uh, nitrates in the system which is not as deadly as uh, ammonia or nitrites and so now you have nitrates in the system you still have a certain amount of urine in there and so that's what this filters for this is my skim uh, protein skimmer and uh, or uh, uh, foam fractionator is another name for it so it's just a trash can I just uh, used black silicone and sealed it closed drilled a hole in the top and epoxied that piece in there and what will happen is the water will boil in there well not boil but it'll it'll bubble from the from the air stone and it'll turn the urine into foam and that foam goes up this pipe and lands into this bucket. The pipe's cut off short inside the bucket. It'll turn into foam, and then the uh, foam will turn into liquid and drain out there. It's called skim it, and that'll help get rid of the urine. So the water leaves the foam fractionator, and it actually runs water over to this other biofilter now this is an anoxic filter and it's got a lack of oxygen. So the autotrophic bacteria that are in there, they work off of um, binding themselves to oxygen. That's how they operate. Well, in this one, these are heterotrophic bacteria and these in the absence of oxygen uh, or O2, or it's, it's actually ambient air, it's really not pure oxygen, but in the absence of oxygen, it will eat nitrates. So now they're, the nitrates that were left over from that tank are now being eaten by this tank. 
And so the only thing left from that is uh, some leftover gas that comes out, not very much, comes out that little vent right here. So the water runs on and gets siphoned into the main down there. Now back to the foam fractionator as it's passing by the denitrator. It runs down and goes to a 55 watt UV sterilizer and comes out of the sterilizer and runs for home plate there and drops down into the bottom of my sump, which my sump is a six inch uh, drain pipe. And inside that drain pipe is a airlift pump. So there's just air put into the base of the pipe and as the bubbles rise, it, it takes the water with it. And so it'll pump the water back out into the corner of the tank. Um, this other pipe that's up on top is just a bypass. If I wanna shut down the entire system, uh, or at least this part of it, I can bypass it by using just that pipe. Um, there'll be another airlift pump in this corner and it'll pick up the water and it'll drop it over into this corner over here and it'll just stir this tank so it'll keep that tank moving and then same thing here there will be a, a three inch airlift pump standing here and it'll just come up and return and come back down and it just helps stir this this barrel to keep that stuff moving around and so hope to have this up in fort bragg soon I've got a, a shed that I've built that it sits in, that it's housed in. It's got a little five by 10 shed that it'll fit in, just barely will fit. And that'll do it. And we hope to be successful in fattening sea urchins and bringing them to market. And if it works, then we'll go with a much bigger system. Take care, have a great day.